this is what's cool about running this program for us because we get to polish it. We mm-hmm. get to like go, oh, what are we learning about our graduates that we can make adjustments on so that the people that are graduating are going to have more tools, not just like, you know, the 50 tools we've given them the, the very first graduates, but but more more tools so they feel empowered after they graduate. Yeah. So basically, one of the things that we're really happy about is that we're teaching people about time management and accountability. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I, again, it may seem like, basic or or even sort of too far in terms of how much to pay attention on how you spend your time but you know i've been in the business for 28 years and i can honestly say that i'm using my time now better than i ever have in my life in my career Mm -hmm. and because i keep fine-tuning how i use my time and i i'm talking it comes down to like 15 minute increments throughout the day so we are actually arming the the graduates with a way to set up their weeks prior to graduation so they know exactly how much they need to get done Mm -hmm. after graduation so they have to populate 20 hours of tasks between a a bunch of different types of tasks they could be doing from gear acquisition to marketing to auditioning to relationships to further training so that they're clear on like okay i have to do these 20 hours of tasks every single week for the next four weeks and they have to populate four weeks worth of 20 hours a week Mm-hmm. And then they can use that same model for the next month. And they have to, and that's part of their homework so that they know what they're doing. Because I think the problem is, is that, you know, people graduate from programs or whatever it is, and they don't have a, a, they have a map. Nothing to do. There's yeah. no roadmap. I'm like, yeah. what to do? They, they're like, I think I need to audition. Yeah. I think, you know, we're like, no, we're actually getting you into like allocating 20 hours of your week so that you know what you're doing. And it's really, really been paying off. Like we're seeing people when we do our check-ins yeah. that... The people that come back and say, yeah, I've been doing 20 to 30 hours a week. And we say, great, tell us about your success stories. And they go, well, I've done this and booked that and done this. And 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 we, we're seeing the time is equaling towards success, not just in bookings, but furthering the chips down the field in their career. Yeah. And, and it, it, there's a motivational price to be paid if you don't do that, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. there's a movement and an evolutionary price to be paid if you don't do that. And that's, yeah, that's become a huge part. And that's why we've added to, as, as you said, like, We've added to that um, business of voiceover curriculum to make mm. it better, and um, you know, it just makes it more viable. It's it's something that we want. Like you know, there's stuff in the business courses that we basically are giving the students that they can. They've got a three to five year pathway in front of them. If you know that, that they can work with. Mm-hmm. I mean, in terms of what we're asking them to do to to create their career and and mm-hmm. what that looks like. So. It's sort of like a macro timeline and a micro timeline in terms of that 20 hours a week. So that's been a really powerful tool that I'm really proud of because it's, again, I think a lot of this program has been you and I and the 18 other people that wrote the curriculum Mm -hmm. took what is the best of in terms of our approach over the last 25 years of, you know, our careers. Mm -hmm. And we put that into the curriculum so that people kind of have what we're doing. Yeah, no, totally. Essentially, yeah. I mean, that's essentially what, that's what yeah. the program is, right? So that's what we wanted to people to feel like because it's, it's it's hard. I mean, if you don't if you don't have a pathway, that's when people can get turned off and mm-hmm. not work at anything and not try to do something, you know. And, and I think another really cool thing that we've also re- come to realize is that the way we treat the business is the way we treat the read. You know, mm. the one in the same so that mm-hmm. as a business person in voiceover, it's not like all of a sudden, yeah, you're putting on a slightly different hat, but you, you're still remembering who ne- who you need to reach. Mm. You know, so your whole business model is motivated by the audience that you've created in your craft and you start approaching the business that way. Again, you're not selling yourself. You're just getting yourself out there so the audience that you really need to connect to is going to hear your voice mm. and hear your story. and. That, I think, has been a really exciting evolution of how we teach the business and how we link our craft to the business as well. Yeah. And, and we also teach the students that it's the long game. You know, that, that the business of voiceover or doing voiceover is about the long game. It's not, it's, yes, it's the daily steps you're going to do, but it's play the long game. So that meaning you're, you're planting seeds through, through relationships or certain auditions that you did that maybe didn't get you the job, but had you get noticed. And it's just about planting all these seeds. And mm-hmm. by the time you're like three, five years in, all this stuff has grown up, mm-hmm. you know, like, no, that's the, what is it, Wayne and Garth? Um, <laughs> a little comedy in the middle there. But you know what I mean? It's just, it's like planting the seeds so that you can, 
I don't know. So, so, so that you're, you're noted because that's what a career is. Mm-hmm, a career mm-hmm. is, is all these different slices of relationships and opportunity that, that create volume and, and which is volume creates work. I mean, yeah. the more volume of auditions and sessions you have now, you've got a career. And some of those, and some of those plants turn into, you know, big beanstalks, and some of them sort of die off. And, exactly. But that's that's not up to you. But that's the process. Mm-hmm. That's the pro- of always planting seeds and and going through it. So mm-hmm. it, it's uh, these are all really cool offshoots that uh, we're now seeing kind of the data of after after uh, all the graduates yeah, that have gone through the program. Results.